Hey Dungeoneers, welcome to the Early Access for Dauntless. Now if you haven't heard about Dauntless guys, it is an upcoming Monster Hunter style RPG set to be released within the next two weeks and we got in first. Before anything though guys, shout out to my boy Edak, that's his Twitch link up there. He actually gave me the closed beta key for this game, so without him this wouldn't have even been possible. But this video here guys, it's going to be more of a first impressions, first look type of thing, and then we're going to be doing more series on it as time goes on. This is the first time I've ever booted it up guys, I've never touched the game, I don't know anything about it, I've been staying away, keeping spoiler free, all that type of good stuff, and we're going to see what happens. So we're going to go right on into the tutorial, looks like we have to do that first, and we're going to learn how to play this awesome game guys, let's go. Welcome to Dauntless, to create your slayer begin by selecting two ancestors. Alright, so for my first ancestor, I kind of, I'm feeling the guy with the handlebar mustache. He looks pretty badass. I mean, let's be real here, guys. Who doesn't like a good, strong handlebar mustache? And then for our other ancestor, uh, I mean, Caselius looks pretty cool. I'm surprised I nailed that pronunciation, by the way. Um, but I guess you, you probably have to have, I guess you don't really have to have a girl, right? These aren't your parents. These are just your ancestors. Maybe I'll go with the badass black guy with the scars on his head. That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with him. And there we are. That guy looks kind of cool. Who do I want it to resemble more? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was so stupid looking. Oh my god. Okay. I think I kind of like that. How do you... Okay, that's how you rotate. That looks pretty good. I mean, his hairstyle kind of sucks. Looks like a little bit of a fuckboy. That's okay, though. We'll fix that, boys. We'll fix that. Uh, select a skin tone. All right, so skin tone. I don't I don't think I want him to be as pasty as I am. What do you think, guys? You think he should be pasty? I'm thinking kind of right in the middle. You know, he's outside a lot. We should probably have that. Now, for hair, that one's going to be important. First off, for hair, in any MMO, I always go for the white hair. You guys know that. And then we're going to have to figure out how we want it to look. So the slick back, not a fan. The undercut, a little too emo for me. Uh, the feather back looks kind of cool. The war crest, eh, it's okay. Ponytail, ugh. Tight ponytail. Do we have anything like... Ooh, uh... Do we have anything kind of like... I don't know, just regular long hair? Oh, that, that would be, that would be kind of cool, except for, you know, the stupid falling down thing. Uh... None of the... That, that's definitely a girl's haircut. That... <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that that is definitely a female haircut. Although I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think I I picked if I wanted a male or a female. I'm assuming you can just do it based on the hair. So um, I guess I'm gonna go for I guess I might just go for regular spiked. Spiked looks okay. I mean everything else looks kind of crappy. Oh ooh, fabulous! <laughs> no, I don't think so. You know what? I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for this. How do I zoom out a little bit? All right, that looks good. I'm I'm okay with that. That looks kind of cool. Um, I'll need the color to be. I'm gonna change the color a little bit. I don't know how much I like that white color. Do I, does it have to be like in this brownish color? Oh, I guess you can't make it anything weird. Ah, oh, you know what? Screw it. We'll stay with we'll stay with the pure white. Right, right there. That's how you do the white. Okay, they're using one of those graphs. Cool. All right. Now for eyes. I don't really care as long as they are neon blue because that's how we do it. Uh, maybe like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Except I don't really care about the nose and stuff like that. I mean, I might make the nose like a little bit smaller just because he had a pretty big beak going on there. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, everything else here looks totally fine. He looks kind of cool. I mean, we're going to have a helmet on anyway. It doesn't really matter. Uh, maybe should we increase that jaw muscles? <laughs> Give him a real chiseled jaw. <laughs> Make him a crimson chin. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so dumb. Okay, nice. All right, so what kind of face paint we want? Uh, that kind of looks okay, but I think I, I mean the survivor. I like the idea, but it just it looks kind of dumb. So, uh, what do you guys think? I don't know. Uh, do we put on the survivor or not? I'm gonna say no. You know what? No, 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 no. It, it looks too dumb. It looks too dumb, boys. All right, confirm. Let's get on inside the game. 
All right, boys, so here we are in game. The graphics are looking hella cool. Where's my armrest? <laughs> what happened to my chair? All right, so here we are, boys, in the game. Draw our sword. Hell yeah. Looks like it has very normal action combat controls. What does V do? Whoa. I'm, I'm shooting out sparks, but I don't, I don't really know what it did. That's fine. All right, so one uses the healing pot. Very nice, very good. Wait, why am I, why am I hurt all of a sudden? I was just swinging fine up there. I, think, well, I don't think I jumped off very hard. All right, whatever. So it looks like you can sprint using the shift key. Make sure you can still use your sword on. Yep. Mouse left click for light attack. All right, so that's the light attack. And what's the heavy attack? Oof. Oh, you know what? I, I like a game with good sound effects, boys. All right, guys. So it looks like space is dodge. All right, boys. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go, boy. What you got? Oh. Oh. Uh, I, I don't think that was me. I think he missed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he hit me. Why can't I? Oh, right, it's space bar. Oh, I'm an idiot. I keep trying to hit space to dodge him. I'm like, why can't I dodge? All right, what you got, boy? All right, I don't actually know if space does anything. I keep hitting it, but. All right, hit him in the ass. That's the secret. Ow! Okay, don't hit him in the ass. <laughs> this beaver is very upset at me. All right, is he gonna go? Oh, he's charging up! Where did he go? You've hurt that behemoth and made it flee. Oh, okay. Down, this hunt. <laughs> I thought he like glitched out or something. <laughs> Alright, so how do we track it? First off, what's in these wooden crates over here? Anything yummy? Oh, it looks like they're just part of the environment. Okay. So, we gotta track down this guy. I don't know how we're gonna track him. I'm just gonna run around and see what we can find. What's over here? Anything Ice, yummy? Minerals, aether. Gather up what you can, and we'll make use of it later. All right. So it looks like there's some sort of crafting mechanic here, guys. Uh, we'll grab these flowers. I'm assuming once you get back to the main town or whatever the the main hub is, there's probably some sort of crafting stuff like that, similar to a lot of MMOs. But that's actually kind of cool because it's it's cool that it's actually in the instance. Um, you know, when Black Desert and stuff, it's sort of out in the world and you have to fight people for it. But this one, all the materials are sort of in your own instance. I think that's kind of cool. It's a cool idea. Um, now, oh, oh shit, there he is. Yo, let's get this guy. I don't, I can, I can gather later, boys. Let's go kill some dudes. All right, now I don't know if it's actually a feature or not, but it seems like you automatically, uh, you automatically dodge if you dodge off of a cliff. As soon as you hit the ground, you'll roll again. I don't know if that's a feature or what, but... All right, what you got, boy? What you got? Yeah. You mad at me? What do you do? Oh, too slow, my man. Oh, I didn't have my sword drawn. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. All right, I'm waiting for him to go. Aha! You're too slow for me, boy. What do you got? <laughs> oh, I thought he was attacking me. All right. All right, let's go. It's a dance. And I win. Oh, wait, he got up way faster that time. All right, what do I got? Wait, that's it? <laughs> it's so underwhelming. It literally just like... I don't even know what that was. I just like launched some blue at him. Oh, that was a clean dodge, boys. Clean dodge. Bank it. Oh, not so clean a dodge. Oh, I, that I missed. Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, it looks like... Oh, that was bad. Okay, so it looks like my... My Q ability actually, like, hits him multiple times if I'm closer. Now, I don't know for sure, because the game hasn't explained it yet, but it looks like 
as I hit him, it charges up my special. So I'm thinking maybe the more of those circles I have up near my health bar, maybe the more that I hit him, like the, the more circles I have, the more damage it does. Uh, reminds me sort of if you guys ever played Gauntlet back on PlayStation 2, that game was the shit. And that had a similar meter where it would fill up and you could unleash it for specials. But then the more you let it charge up, the better the specials were. Because right now it just kind of looks like... Oof. Wait, I missed that? Oh, is he dead? I think we got him, boys. He doesn't seem to be reacting. <laughs> I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, okay. He's definitely dead now. <laughs> it didn't give me, like, any sort of indication that he wasn't faking it. I don't know. I don't know about that one. All right, so here we are in town, boys. So it looks like the camera is actually locked while you're in town. That's kind of interesting, but who knows? You know, that's kind of all right. Now, I'm really liking the graphics style here. Um, I'm, I'm skeptical to say it looks like Fortnite graphics uh, because I distinctly remember hearing about this game before I heard about Fortnite. Now, I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I'm actually a really big fan of this cell shaded look. Um, I think it can really make your game look extremely good. Uh, but not have too much system requirements, you know? Something like Team Fortress 2 used to do. Like, it looked really, really good, but it wasn't super detailed. So, you can kind of get it on a lot of lower-end computers, which I think will be good for this. Um, I think they said they were thinking about making it cross-platform. I don't know if it's been confirmed yet. Um, but it'd be good to have it that way, because then it looks the same on every system, and that way everybody sort of gets the same experience. Uh, now, one issue I am having is now that I'm in town, I'm going to have to start doing some questing, but it didn't really tell me that. Uh, like, if you weren't really a big MMO type of guy, you might not know that an exclamation mark is uh, a quest. You might just be kind of walking around town, so they could probably put some sort of pop-up on screen to let people know. Because, like I said, I know, but some people who just play action games and stuff, they might not know that so much. Um, so Kat wants me to meet the weaponsmith, so uh, we're going to accept that quest. Uh, glad to see you, Rook. I appreciate the save. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so once we get our new weapon, it looks like she's going to send us back out to fight another behemoth. So I think we're going to go out and do that. Uh, I don't know if I like this sword too much. I'm kind of a, a quick and dodgy type of guy. I'm not usually a big heavy sort of character, but you know what? We'll give it a try. We'll see what it gives us, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, recruit, a pleasure to see you. I am told you are ready to leave your training weapons behind and forge something new. Uh, Cat would like you to meet the weaponsmith. All right. So, weapon of choice. Complete either the sword, the hammer, or the chain blades. All right, well, based on my reaction, guys, you you already know what I'm getting. We're going to definitely go for the chain blades. So there's a sword. It actually looks kind of cool, but I'm just curious if the sword is going to be uh, as slow as it was in the tutorial or if that was because it was a training weapon. Um, I'm not too sure. Now, these look pretty cool. Uh, they look like sides on chains, sort of like if you guys ever played uh, Samurai Warriors. Uh, the ninja, I think his name was Hanzo in that. He had uh, a double sort of scythe chain, and it was really, really badass. You could spin it around and do all sorts of cool stuff. But I'm going to start with this anyway, guys. It's the very beginning of the game. If we make a mistake and we like something better, we'll just pound it out later. It'll be totally fine. So we're going to create this here. Kaboom! Forge our chain blades. All right, boys, there we go. Uh, we have our level one chain blades. So I think we can just back out now. Weapon of choice. I'm sure our mutual friend, Katarin, will be pleased as well. And do be sure to equip your new weapon before going on your next hunt. You'd be surprised how many inexperienced slayers forget to do that. All right, so everything is complete. We got 50 notes. Uh, now, I'm not sure what notes are, although I believe it's probably, uh, you know, I'm assuming it's what you use to buy things, uh, like banknotes. Although, of course, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so now I just have to figure out how to craft it. Or how to equip it, sorry. Because um, it looks like I have it here, but it doesn't say how to... How do I equip it? Because I'm in the inventory now. I've, I've double-clicked it a bunch of times, and it's not really equipping. I'm sure it'll explain to us after. Uh, maybe we have to finish the quest or something first. I'm not 100%, but we'll figure it out, boys. We'll figure it out. I mean, I'm sure it'll tell us how to equip a weapon. Find this interesting. So we'll go over and talk to our lady over here. Got some news. Uh, going rogue. Challenge. Hunt the rogue shrike. All right, rogue shrike sounds good to me. There's something you need uh, to do. And then this just looks like a regular town quest. 
Um, so I really want to equip this weapon, boys, but I'm not really seeing how you how you do that. I've I've double equipped it, double clicked it multiple times, and it's not it's not showing up. Uh oh, loadout. All right, there we go. So it's actually in the escape menu. So we want to go to chain blades. All right, there we go. Wait, transmog. Oh, nice, boys. The game has transmog. Oh, I love when games have transmog, guys. I am all about the aesthetics, all about being as aesthetic as possible. And you know, I love it when games have transmog. Diablo three introduced it later on in its lifespan, and it honestly just made the game better because armor in Diablo three doesn't always look the best. So it's nice to be able to actually make it look kind of cool. Uh, so I think that's all good there for my loadout. Everything else I think is totally equipped fine. We got our chain blades on. We got a lantern. Uh, I don't think we have any special armor or anything. We don't have like a helmet or anything like that. Uh, so we're all good there. So we can head right on into battle. Now, I just have to figure out how we go into that battle. Let's just talk to this guy. This is a different dude. I'm wondering if it's more like uh, Continent of the Night Seal, where you just have to run out into a gateway, or if you have to do something in particular uh, in order to jump into it. Uh, it looks to me like there is a paw on the map. I'm assuming that's probably it. So, uh, do you go here? Oh, perfect. All right. Let's do it, boys. Let's start the hunt. All right, boys, so here we are in these floating islands. That grass just kind of came out of nowhere. But aside from that, the game is looking really, really good, guys. Uh, the graphics are really nice. They're super clean and super stylized. Uh, the controls feel good. Everything just feels really, really nice. Uh, so it looks like we have 30 minutes to complete this one. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad. But let's take a look at these, so these chain blades first. So that's our quick attack. Looks pretty good. Just regular quick attack combo. A little bit of a spin. What's our heavy attack? All right. So the heavy attack is going to be our ranged. That's pretty good. So we have a good mix of ranged and melee. Uh, and what do we have for our special ability? Uh, another ranged attack. Now it looks like it might grapple things. I don't know if that's true. But uh, who knows? So it looks like we have to sheath our weapon. Oh, and the dodge is like a, a little Dragon Ball Z dash. Woohoo! That's fucking sick, boys. That's cool. So that way, if they start attacking us, we just we just dodge out of the way. We don't have to worry about doing any uh, weird stuff. So uh, that that just happened <laughs> while I was yammering on about nothing. That just kind of happened out of nowhere. But all right, boys. So let's go find out uh, where this guy is. Let's kill him, and then we'll probably end up ending the video there. Uh, so this is really, really nice, guys. This is really cool. It's like we're on a, a, an actual floating island. Uh, sort of reminds me of the floating islands in Avatar. Uh, one of the best, one of the best locations, in my opinion. That some of the locations in that movie were really, really cool. Um, <laughs> now I keep, I keep sprinting at this wall. I guarantee you, I'm not actually trying to <laughs> to do that. I'm trying to jump up, but you know, years and years of having jump on spacebar and switching dodge to it, it it's kind of weird, but. That's okay. Ooh, a little sheepy. I I don't I don't want to kill him, but I feel like he'll give me something. Okay. You know what? Now now I outed myself as a bad person for literally no reason. So so that's wonderful. That's that's just what I like to see. Oh, we got some cool stuff there. Okay. Oh, I'm emoting, boys. My bad. All right. So, uh, Shrike, if I remember. Uh, not that I know about this game in particular, but I know that a Shrike uh, is a bird, as far as I'm aware. So, if I was a bird, I would probably be up, you know, up high somewhere. And, uh... Ooh! So, I picked up a little run fast. Oh, shit. It, he doesn't look happy to see me, boys. May, maybe we can come to a peaceful sort of arrangement. He looks like a really pissed off owl. Oh, I don't think he likes me. All right, we're just going to whack him. <laughs> I don't think we're going to come to a happy agreement here, boys. All right. Whoa, that was unexpected. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, he's got tornadoes, boys. Oh, oh my god. This guy's way harder than that angry beaver from earlier. All right, what does this do? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so it looks like the ranged attack does more damage, so I don't know why you would use the quick attack, but... All right, so that, like, drags me to him. Oh, okay. So that's the whole point of that one. All right, now I'm getting it. Shit. Holy Jesus, boys. Oh, we are getting clapped. Heal, 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 heal. Take a drink. Whack him in the back a little bit. I don't think he has a back sort of attack. Oh, he turns around quick, though. Holy moly, he turns around quick. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this game is fucking sick. All right. And go behind. Chop him a little bit more. Ow. He didn't even hit me with anything. That was bullshit. That was a bullshit attack right there. All right. All right, what are we going to do here? Okay, he just he just looks pissed. He doesn't look like he's gonna hit me with anything. Wait, is this? Oh, he's charging up. Oh, knew that was coming. You know what? I oh, jeez. <laughs> this dude's got the fucking Krillin attack. <laughs> oh no! Why is this guy Krillin? Destructo disc. That's it. Oh my god, I almost forgot what it was called. Oh, did we? Is he dead? Oh no, he's just pissed. Okay. <laughs> I thought I killed him for a sec. There was some some particles. Oh, that slam is hurt huge. Oh, I did not mean to dodge in front of you. That's all right. All right, what do we got here? Come on, come on. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare. See, I saw it coming that time. It was expected. I'm learning your moves. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> I always forget about the Destructo Disc. Yo, that shit hurts, too. Oh, my God. Oh, that is not what I meant to press. Whoa, wait, what? Whoa, I can double tap it and like jump off of them. Okay, it looks like that attack actually doesn't hit behind us, so that's good. All right, we wailing on him. All right, now he's gonna charge up, do the dodge. Okay, there goes the tornado. Oh, the tornado hit me! Destructo disc! Ha <laughs> ha! See? We're learning, boys. We're learning the moves. Oh, more particles. Oh, he's glitching out. He's He teleported. That's not fair. <laughs> All right, I think we're getting close, boys. Oh, we're definitely getting close. So it looks like he's actually, like, he actually falls apart as time goes on. Like, you can see him getting injured and stuff. That's really cool. Because he doesn't have a health bar. So it actually kind of lets you know uh, how close you are to hurting him. All right, that's going to be a big move. Oh, he got me. <laughs> it was a big move. It just wasn't the right timing. All right. Hit him! <laughs> free hits! Free hits, boys! No, not the tornado! And then the Destructo Disc? Oh, wait. That's not a Destructo Disc. Oh, he's mixed up his attack patterns now, boys. Okay. Okay. That's fair. We'll, we'll do that. Wow, <laughs> that was Matrix shit right there, boys. All right. Jeez, this guy takes so much damage. Oh, he's just getting wailed on, though. Okay, I don't actually understand the point of that. Because I can't, like, attack out of the air or anything. Oh, he's running, boys. We're going to go get him. Don't worry. No, I don't want to emote. I want to run. Okay. All right, so he just flew over that hill over there. I'm honestly surprised. This uh, this goat doesn't seem like he's 
really too worried. He's just kind of chilling there and hanging out. Y you okay there, Mr. Goat? Did did you not did you not notice the the giant horrifying Dragon Ball Z owl? Cuz I certainly noticed it. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but he uh, he was making a lot of noise and he was pretty pissed. So Oh, all right, there he is. So what I'm going to do, boys, I'm going to try and sneak up on him a little bit if I can. Oh, shit, he knows I'm here. Oh, I wanted to heal off of that. Jeez. Okay, right back into it. All right. All right. Now you're going to go down, dog. You know what? I was going to be nice and try and heal up. I'm so Oh, god damn it. Okay, we're not healing. You know what? No heals. You can try and punch me all you want. You know what? I'm going to try and... I'm going to disrespect you, not even heal, because of how rude you're being to me. Oh, he's getting chopped up good, boys. This is so much damage. Oh, he back-punched me. Whoops. Oh, you know... <laughs> I had to double dodge at that. Oh, my God! No! I just realized how low my health is. Oh, my God. Drink, drink, drink! Okay. All right, guys. No more disrespecting of me. <laughs> He's not one to be disrespected with. He is not one to be disrespected. Holy jeez. Oh, god damn, dude. He has so much health. Oh, that was a quick turnaround. <laughs> All right, can I, can I drink? Can I drink? Nice. All right, back in it. Ah, he's back on the destructo disc. Oh, that's not what I wanted to press. Ah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. I swung at the camera. Watch this video in 3D, boys. Oh, that was good. Every time he does that, I get a bunch of free hits on him. Damage. Oh, see, I saw that one coming. I recognize it, boys. We're learning. We're going to get good. All right. Woo. All right. So that's that's a really good use for that. Oh, get away from the tornado. <laughs> Wait, it's only just damaged? Your attacks are having an effect. You can tell that the behemoth is taking a beating. Well, yeah, I'd hope so. I've been wailing on him for fucking 15 minutes now. Yes! Yes! We did it, boys! We killed him! <laughs> Holy shit! That was actually hard! S plus, baby! <laughs> okay, that was too bad. Never down! Fire Ferret, my boy! Team rank S plus, my rank S plus. We got gold, we got gold, we got gold. All right, what do we get? Breaker, broke behemoth parts, took little damage and never down. Boys, that's us, you already know. Departing in the dropship, and we're going back to Ramsgate. I guess Ramsgate's the name of the town, boys. Sorry, I'm a little hypey, holy shit, that was so fun. Give that shit a five. Boom, right there, boys. That was awesome. Oh, man. That was so much fun. I can't wait to keep playing more of this game. That was so sick. Holy shit. I'm, I'm hype. I'm hype. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this first impressions gameplay of Dauntless. Now, like I said, guys, if you can't get into the closed beta, don't worry too much. The game is coming out in about two weeks. I think it's actually exactly two weeks from today. Uh, so you can go in, play it then. The game should be free to play, but if you really want in the closed beta, guys, all you got to do is buy a Founders Pack. And if you buy the Founders Pack, it gives you guaranteed closed beta access. You can come in, play. And honestly, guys, if you decide to go with the Founders Pack and you do come in and play the closed beta, hit me up an invite. Come play with me. If you want to meet up with me, guys, I'm always in our Discord as usual. Link for the Discord is in the description. Come play with us. Come play some Dauntless. Come kill some Behemoths. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.